All right. We're back with more Lost Kingdoms. It's been a while. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, delays. But we are finally going to get to go to the church. Going to get some churching up, but we have to make sure everything's all well and good there. Today with me, I have Maddie. Then, hey, hello. I love church. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's definitely a bit of a weird one, but we know that there's a rune stone hidden somewhere in this church, so uh, we figure we'll go there. But of course, uh, Black Fog's already there, so we got to go there. Also, we got to rescue the prince who's gone for reasons unknown. So far as I know, there's no actual reason she needed to jack a prince. She just felt like taking a hostage. Maybe it's just some vacation time for the prince. <laughs> she Never didn't know. actually kidnap him. He just asked to come with. Yeah. It's really boring here. I want to go somewhere. <laughs> okay, okay. But first we need to go to the church. <laughs> Alright, so main enemies in this stage you're going to be facing are great demons. They're pretty big fire elemental... And they have a two-hit attack there that can kind of stun lock you. They're a little bit troublesome, but nothing really difficult, especially because our deck is way more powerful than it has any right to be <laughs> at this point in the game. So they're kind but, of average demons, more than great demons. <laughs> yeah, I don't see what's really so great about them, you know? <laughs> they just kind of took the title upon themselves. So... If you're wandering through the pews here, you're going to find a couple of candles in these chests. You have to gather up all of the candles for the puzzle later the stage. Oh. Yeah, lots of people apparently visit the church at every point, but uh, the point when we are currently visiting the church. It's a really popular church. I mean, look at all these people. Everybody's coming here to get some church in. Oh yeah. <laughs> There's so many pews. I mean, it's got to be crowded all the time. I mean, look at all this room that we made for people. Doesn't that mean that there are going to be people here all the time? Checkmate. So the other type of enemy that you're going to be facing are going to be nightmares. They're, uh, they're demon horses. You do not get to ride them. Ah. But they do pretty much nothing other than just kind of, you know, walk around, clopping very noisily, and then occasionally breathing out poison gas. But we don't have one yet, so I need to capture it. Pretty Gotta get that night. completion. It, I've always wondered why they put armor on ghost horses. I mean, the horse is already a ghost. It's not like you can do much more to it. Oh, nightmare. Very punny. Yeah, um. yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's, a, it's a horse, but it's a demon <laughs> horse. So it needs an appropriate name. Um, the... Th sort of interesting thing about this stage, and I say interesting very loosely, is the fact that those little barriers right next to the chest can actually be broken. Like this. Which allows you to get to the chest a little bit easier. Um, I have since starting this LP and just playing it casually in my free time started to try to play the game as quickly as possible in what is known as a run for speed. And, uh... This stage is actually just kind of a pain. In any case, this is a golden goose. There is, they are a very rare enemy in this stage, and they have a tendency to run away, and they're a total pain in the ass to catch. Uh, but we already got one of their cards back in the mine stage. So that was just to prove I could. Uh, I don't have a problem with card collecting, I swear. But yeah, once more we get to see the goose totally decked out. All of its appropriate gear. And we get to collect more goddamn candles. If you thought there was going to be anything more to this level, really not anything, no. What else are you going to do in a church? Collect candles. Well, I mean, they could have like a little donation bin. You have to toss cards in to some of the <laughs> secret boss. They could... They could, uh... They could give you unholy communion and make you fight a giant bread demon. I mean, the the options are really limitless if we're talking seriously here. They could actually let you ride this goddamn horse. That'd be awesome. God, you ride a horse in the church, don't you? Well, you know, demon horses. Ah, yes. There's, there's a difference. See, you ride a normal horse through a church, there's social stigma attached. <laughs> Oh, 
But the level is actually really tiny compared to a bunch of the others. It's pretty much all, quote, puzzle solving, even though the only puzzle is use object, use item on object after collecting item. <laughs> the hardest puzzle. Yes. So there is a magnificent pipe, pipe organ. Um, I don't know what makes a pipe organ magnificent. Well, that one certainly is magnificent. Is it? I haven't oh, yeah. seen many pipe organs in my day. I, I'm more of a uh, I'm more of a pianist, <laughs> really. Just not not really an organ man. But oh, I just I don't know. It's like they wanted to do something with this stage where you collected items and you got to go to a cool church set piece and eventually FromSoft started to get the whole unholy cathedral thing down really well. They just oh, yeah. didn't quite have a handle on it here yet. I mean, you got some stained glass windows. Oh, fair tiny Tony stained glass. I know. Yeah, really, really tiny stained glass windows. They didn't have much to commission. It was a very poor town. So like the how, secret uh, here... Oh, sorry, go on. I like how, uh, like, when you enter a battle, the area is not always, like, the same same square battle area formation that, that tends to happen in old games. So it's yeah, very, uh, advanced they actually time. use the environment, which is pretty pretty novel. The second game actually does more with that, and they just give you free roaming combat, which I think would have fit the first game pretty well, but for a first attempt into this sort of game, they actually made a decent foray into the, uh, I don't know, the type of just combat in the world sort of feel. Mm. The only problem is it turns out that that doesn't actually mean anything for combat nine times out of ten. Oh, it's another golden goose. These are supposed to be rare. Like, I'm not even joking. These are supposed to be really rare. But we'll just kill this one because we've already got two. Why don't we already have all the money we need? It's like a few people who who fun for hours are looking at this video groaning like, Oh, how did you do it? <laughs> It is really worse in the second game when uh, the only way to get it is to import it from the first. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> are you ready for a performance? Oh, let's see. Look at her hands. This is how you play organs. <laughs> Agent Smith Bongo's dot gift. Very nice song. Wasn't it, though? It was so nice that the church decided to open a door for us. So, yeah, that is the big secret puzzle of this area. You're supposed to go grab the sheet music from the one side of the cathedral, go to the other side of the cathedral, where, is the, where there is the only instrument it is possible to play music on, and then play the music to open up a secret door. How did you figure that puzzle out? I mean, my god. Not gonna lie, took me at least uh, about 20-30 minutes. Had to look up game game facts at some point. Oh, of course. I'm not very good at aiming dragons. Oh yeah, nightmares. One other really irritating thing: they can cause poison. And as I mentioned briefly in some previous episodes, poison is the worst status condition of the game because whenever our Heroin takes damage from poison, she feels the need to, uh, stop and flinch. Uh, to stop any action you're doing? Any or? action you're doing, yep. Ah, uh, that's terrible. And it's not just like a small flinch animation, she gives it a full second of bending over in pain. Ah, uh, poison! Ah! Uh. Okay. Yep. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> so that's sure. where they come from. <laughs> yeah, God. So many people forgot to love around here. Just like you wander home, a red fairy's there near your wife. Honey? <laughs> What's honey, wrong? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not mine, I swear. Oh, so, God. Th so that is the dumbest goddamn explanation for fairies. I swear to Christ. <laughs> that is the most- oh, we get a free lich. We already have like 10 billion of those from farming. But seriously, what the Christ? <laughs> the, you are meaning to tell me that these precisely 100 red objects that we are collecting around the area could not have just been some sort of mythical entity that were there, but had to be given some sort of pseudo-emotional bullshit explanation. Plot twist is gonna be that there's like 100 people in the kingdom. 
<laughs> no one knows how to love. There are literally only a hundred. <laughs> We've got to save the land from the black fog. This will lose like 50% of the population. You mean 50 people? I know what I said. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, I you know place the candle, I, just, uh, the other puzzle in this area is you place candles on candlesticks, and, uh, you get to just wander down here and take the room stone. It's, not, it's it, it's not guarded, nothing, just in a room with some books. But oh. now she's here! Yeah, I want to bring this up. How the fuck did we beat her to the goal? <laughs> she left the castle before we did. It's like yeah. a, an Emperor's New Groove sort of situation. Like, we have a point A to point B, and somewhere along point A to point B, she had to stop to, like, change that kid's diaper or something, I don't know. Well, they went to the mutant park first, and then they came here. <laughs> I want to grab a corn dog. You're my hostage! <laughs> Shut up! I'm a prince! <laughs> Do what I want! So, uh, if you look at our cards right now, two of them are being locked down by some very spooky skeletons. Oh my god. This is a side effect of, uh, this vampire's attacks. Unfortunately for the vampire, he's a complete chump and can get stunlocked more easily than just about any other boss in the game. Anytime you hit him with something above about 15 power, he'll jump around the arena during his invincibility, and then we'll just kind of stand up afterwards. Unfortunately, his invincibility frames are a lot longer than they appear to be, which means that this guy is actually... Most of the attacks that I missed against this guy on my practice runs were actually just me trying to attack him too early. But we get to bring in a tiny little elephant to finish him off, so all's well. <laughs> Except for the part where it doesn't actually finish him off. Fucking elephant can't oh, do anything. Almost. Right. That's the chumpiest Dracula I've ever seen. It's it's Dracul. It's not. It's it's like a Dracula knockoff. It's, it's the cheap Dracula, the one you buy in like a back alley in India or something. Just yeah, kind of the. Boot, it's bootleg Dracula. <laughs> but we're going to get his card anyway, because we can. Uh, we will actually get some of these later, but might as well get it now. Now, Dracula is a bit special as a card. You summon him and. Uh, he has a small chance to instantly kill anything. Holy shit. His card yeah. is a lot more badass than he was. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, the only problem with this is that it doesn't really work against just about any boss in the game. Most of them have uh, programmed immunity. We're not to the next card yet with Alexander. Most of the bosses have a programmed immunity. There is one notable exception in the entire series. And... Um, I might actually go through this entire series at some point, so I'm not going to spoil it. But suffice to say that it's a pretty game-breaking sort of deal. Um, but yeah, they were actually pretty clever about making sure most bosses were immune to death. Apart from, you know, beating them to death. Just the de death spell. Just a, just a quicker death. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the problem with the Dracula card in this game. It's like most of the enemies in this game really aren't hard to beat to death anyway. Like, you've got enough powerful cards that you really don't need to waste one on a chance that something will die when you can use a different one to make absolutely certain they're gonna die. <laughs> but that's pretty much it for the cathedral. It's a really short level, it doesn't have much to it. You can turn red lizards into red dragons if you really want to, but we already have one, so no real worries there. And just overall, it's... Here are puzzles. Complete them. Finish level. Two incredible puzzles. Yes. You can't see it, but I'm making giant quotation marks around the word puzzle. <laughs> um, yeah, no, even ten-year-old me thought this was a total chump level. So, <laughs> that kind of speaks loads to uh, how the level actually is. And don't get me wrong, Lux Lost Kingdoms has some really great level design, and I kind of look how the like how the church looks when you actually get to see some of it. But 90% of that level is literally pews. <laughs> pews and, and most chests, that's it. <laughs> yeah, pews and chests, exactly. And then you fight a, literally three different types of enemies and then one more at the end. It's It seems like a bit of filler. It seems like they were starting to run out of time, but that's okay. Because the next episode has what is probably my favorite mechanic in the game. And actually one of my favorite mechanics in a lot of games. 
Uh, so definitely looking forward to do- wait, do we have another side level first? It might not be the next episode. Yep. We actually- I think we have another side quest first. But well, we'll next time, or possibly the time after that, we go to the Colosseum for an actually pretty cool fight. Hmm. Sounds good. <laughs> well, at least we learned a bit of incredible lore about the, about the Lost Kingdom's universe and its fairies. <laughs> so if, if Alexander is collecting, you know, all the fairies, what? What what was his ulterior motive? He wants to return love to the universe. <laughs> At least I will know love. <laughs>